Welcome back, everybody. Let's warm up the show a little bit. If you're looking for a new game day recipe, we have just the dish for you. It's in today's sponsored segment. Yeah, thank you, Jennifer Burns, in for Utah Beef Council with Jacob Schmidt. Hello again. Hello, hello. More game day food ideas because I love them. I love the appetizers that you put out. Yeah, for they're, game they're day. so easy. Very delicious. Very delicious. And this one today, I mean, it, you, you can't even mess it up. It's so easy. You can't. And yeah. it's a fun one that we got from utahbeef.org. Jacob heads yes. up because we're Thank having you. fun in the kitchen with this delicious recipe. Uh, so what we're going to do, actually, Jacob, you've got right over there. On the stove, we started off with the star of the show for this one, the easy. This is a cheese dip that we're just layering. Yes. And, of course, we browned up that ground beef. Yep, and go for the extra lean. This is 93% lean. Okay. Uh, you know, we're adding it's this cheese. It's game day, though. I, it's okay. We're adding <laughs> cheese, Jennifer. We'll okay. be okay. I promise. And when you say we're adding cheese, we actually just use, uh, the recipe <laughs> calls for just having a jar. Now, if you want to make your own uh, cheese recipe, that's just kind of, as you know, Jacob, um, just putting a little, the milk, the flour process with some of the cheese, sure. melt it down. You could absolutely do that. But this is game day, so we're this talking super easy, easy, super fast. Yes, right? right. Now, what did you just add in there? Just a little bit of salsa. Of salsa. Okay. Yep. So you're just going to, again, uh, brown that ground beef, go ahead and drain off any excess grease, but you know, with that lean, you probably wouldn't even have to. Mm -hmm. Add Definitely. the cheese dip in there, add a chunky salsa, is what Jacob just added in there, yep. and it's just such a good flavor. Now, the fun part, what are you going to top it with? So there's so many different ways to do the toppings for this dip. Yes. As a dietitian, I'm going veggies. You're going veggies. I'm okay. going veggies. I don't know. <laughs> well, this is pretty much what we have here. But you can also do, you can slice up some, um, some olives here. Some avocado would be delicious, and that's a good healthy fat Definitely. for us. Make it kind of a little bit creamy there. I'm, you could do some small pieces of any color bell pepper in there to give a little uh, crisp and, and some um, just a crunch there that I really like. White onion, same deal. Jacob, I also have over here some cilantro mm -hmm. and then some green onion. And right here, some jalapeno if you're really feeling brave. Yeah. <laughs> I, I always feel very because I like the heat. So, okay, I'm going to do a little bit of um, some green onion on here, Jacob. Perfect. Yeah. Tell, tell us on that ground beef, some of the nutrients we're getting in there. Yeah, the great thing about beef is it provides like a, it's, it's like a multivitamin, a nutrient. So lots okay. of B vitamins, protein, zinc, iron, of course. Yeah. And uh, so just a little bit goes a long way. It does. Yeah. It does. Okay, if you want to plate it in our fun bowls here, my yes. friend Wendy actually let me borrow <laughs> for the fun set here. I've actually got some at home because I love to. I love a theme. I love a good theme. Okay, so we'll take that and I'll add those green there onions go. there. Thank you, Jacob. Just some of those green onions on top. We've got the tortilla chips out there already. And then maybe just a little bit of cilantro. Does that sound like a go good? Go for it, good? yeah. Okay. Jacob, where can we find more information and, and recipes? Yeah, head on over to utahbeef.org for lots of great recipes like these and others and lots of cooking information as well. All right. Well, thanks so much for coming in, and I hope that all of you try this recipe at home for your next game day gathering.